Greetings, RC model geeks, and here we are in the shed yet again for part eight of the Sarik Hobbies de Havilland Canada Chipmunk build. So I've been on my shopping trip this morning and uh, bought a few essential items. Um, I found a, uh, a wing bolt and attachment uh, which is uh, one of these here two in a pack one pound sixty or something they were um, that's the part number if it will show up it's uh, F dash R A A 107S wing bolt with bracket M6 so that is going on the plane so that's good bought some epoxy you know um, this is the best stuff that I've found so far this is the uh, Bob Smith Industries 5 minute uh, and although it's 5 minute epoxy um, it doesn't dry brittle um, really good stuff that I, that's the only epoxy I uh, pretty much ever use I've tried other stuff uh, not all epoxies are the same that is a good one uh, what else did we buy um, oh, I bought some brass tubing and stuff like that um, and I've also bought some some plastrut Plastrut. Now, this is like um, it's a styrene plastic, and you can get different sections of it, like U sections and I beams and H beams and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to be using that for the canopy because I'm going to make a sliding canopy. So I'm going to have runners in the side of the fuselage and a runner down the um, the tail fin uh, so I can slide the canopy back, put the battery in, slide it forward, Bob's your uncle. So that is good. Um, what else did we get from there? I bought a pilot. Oh, do you know what? Trying to find a, a, a pilot for this is pretty difficult. I want a sort of a 50s style pilot. Now I saw a video um, of uh, uh, chipmunks uh, when they were used for training and uh, they had a bone dome and they had a face mask. Uh, the nearest I could find was this uh, jet pilot um, but with a bit of a repaint of his helmet uh, to white which is what they used uh, and you know a bit of a touch up on the face mask it hasn't got a hose on it it comes with a hose uh, and they shove it up the bum you see the hose is actually in there um, but we're not going to fit the hose because they used to in the chipmunk they used to use the face mask but with no oxygen or anything like that so this is as close as we're going to get to, uh, to to what it was like back in the day once he's had a little bit of a repaint um, that's meant to be one six scale and I would say he's a little bit small the plane's one six scale but the pilot just looks a little bit small um, he's not far off but he's not spot on so since I've been back it was a mammoth journey bloody traffic and stuff it probably took an hour and a half each way uh, a journey that should take like you know 40 minutes anyway so I've got one of these um, uh, wing bolt mounts drilled and fixed to the former already with uh, nuts and washers always use washers when you're bolting onto wood just to spread the load a bit um, I'm using plain washers there and I've used thread lock on them they ain't coming apart again so that's all good um, what else can I tell you about? Um, I think before I do the planking, I'm going to do the servo mounts in this fuselage. 
and um, I'm going to make the uh, the runners for the servos out of a bit of ply. I've got a bit of uh, five mil ply, a bit over the top. If I, I might have them three as well, maybe I'll use that. I'll see. Um, so I'm going to make two beams that go across that the servos sit on. Done. Do it now. Don't have to do it later when it's all tight and horrible to work in there. So uh, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to cut up some ply, make the two runners, mount the servos on the runners, drill the holes, you know, all that stuff. It's done then, isn't it? Out of the way. Um, do it while you can, while it's easy, while the plane ain't rocking around on the, uh, on the bench. Then, after we've done that, we've got to glue this former in. I don't know if you can see that in the uh, thing. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, got to glue that former in, and then this former up the front, which is the uh, the wing mounting uh, former there. Got to glue them in. Once they're glued in, we can start using this stuff, <laughs> and we can start planking the fuse. Now, sod's law. The, uh, the strips are shorter than the fuselage, so uh, we'll have to do a bit of joining of uh, strips and stuff. We'll make the joints up at this end, um, which has already got the ply doubler, not ply doubler, the bolster doubler there, so we won't get any weakness. If we shifted them all to the back, then uh, it's just a bit more awkward to do, uh, do the joining. I'm not going to splice them or anything, I'm just going to butt join them, because uh, it's all over pretty much solid wood so that will be fine so yeah that's it uh, the other thing I got in the post this morning was this it's Chinese of course Beltex stainless steel plastic handle got to be top quality then anyway anybody knows what these are bonus points and what I'm going to use them for. I'm sure one person will know and that'll be Angel but uh, yeah so that is it so I'm going to get on and uh, do some more work on the fuselage. Right well, I've done all I'm going to do for today. I've got this bulkhead glued in. And that is in the right position. I've got this bulkhead here glued in with the, uh, the wing mounting. That's bolted in there. As you can see I've got a nut and uh, a washer there and it's also uh, thread locked. And there it is, and that's spot on. I've put in the servo rails there where the two servos are going to sit and I've also glued in my um, pushrod outer tubes as well. So we're just going to let the bits of glue go off and then tomorrow we can um, get on with the planking. And that is when the fun is really going to start. So um, what else can I tell you? Um, um, I've been thinking about the canopy which is uh, up there now um, I'm gonna make it so the canopy can open and close and it's gonna be on guides so the whole thing can slide back um, so I'm gonna put runners in the side of the fuselage here well I'm going to put like a U-channel in the side of the fuselage uh, and then there'll be some kind of guides on the uh, on the canopy 
and then for the rear of the fuselage there'll be some channel that runs along here and another guide there um, that the canopy will run on as well so it'll be held at sort of three points so yes so that will be fun uh, to do now somebody was asking um, how I decided the position of the servos now the position of the servos I wanted to get them as far forward as I could that was criteria number one but I had the restraint of the battery so if we turn this over yeah I've got to be able to get the battery in here through the hole uh, and, and basically clear everything so I couldn't go any more further forward because that would stop the battery going in so that's the reason why uh, the servos ended up there uh, they can't go any more forward it's always nice to have the servo rail against something else as well and it's against the bulkhead so that was the uh, the obvious choice uh, of where to put it but like I said the battery has got to be able I can't really show it because it's uh, it's all a bit unstable and wibbly wobbly um, let's try it that way but yeah you've got to be able to get a battery in there basically So yeah, all good, all good. So that's it. So tomorrow we will be doing the planking. So like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all tomorrow for hopefully a longer video. And uh, don't forget to go and have a look at Sarik Hobby's website and see what they've got on there if you haven't already and if you do buy something please mention RC Model Geeks right see you all tomorrow bye thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks if you enjoyed the video don't forget to click that like button if you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal, paypal.me forward slash RC Model Geeks. If you want to contact us, you can email us, rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.